the next day. So it got a little late on us last night. I think, what, we were, we were out here quite a bit of time. We, we actually had a lot of fun putting the bed together. At some point, we, I think we just shut off the camera and just enjoyed the planting. Um, we really had a lot of fun, but it did get dark on us, so we decided to go ahead and show you guys today, this early morning. It's cold, it's a little cold today too, and it's raining, so finally feels like like fall. Would you say that? It finally feels like fall today. Yep. So let's go ahead and show you how it came out. Um, first off, I wanted to tell you what, what I decided to do this year was just go ahead and leave what we already, some of the plants that we already have. So I'm working with, with, with what we already had planted, you know, since um, um, all season, all growing season long, whatever plants we had um, planted in spring. Um, okay, so let's come over here. Um, so I did, we did get some of those straw flowers that I keep talking about so much. Some of them are gonna have to start getting pinched off, but there's new buds coming out already. And look at that, that's so pretty. So these guys will keep going. Um, the cold temperatures won't hurt them at all. We're actually getting cold temperatures at night. We were, we had, what, a couple of freeze? Yep. Um, cold nights in the 30s, would you say? Mm -hmm. They were in the 30s. So that's why we held back on planting these, um, the plants that we have got um, from the, the garden center. When y'all saw the tour of us going, we waited, what, a whole week? Yeah. A whole week without planting them because of that reason. So some of the plants are looking a little rough, but it's okay. We're gonna have wonderful weather. Hopefully it stays like that, a little bit warmer. So the plants will still be doing something. And then, of course, I got myself some cabbage right there. Cabbage or kale. I think this is, what, cabbage? I, so. I love that, it's just so pretty. Ambrose, Ambrose little, uh, his herbs are still going. We still have some strawberries producing there. Um, and then um, this is, I, I know I keep on forgetting, it's a bush, bush daisy. daisy, but it's high noon, high noon, is that? High noon from Perving Winters. This guy has been going, these have go, been going all the way since we planted uh, planted them since now so they're really good plants now you got here it's a kale i had to go with these this year i i love the color of the purple i wanted them to be against the the hydrangeas they already have that brown a little bit of pink but more of the brown look here in in zone 7b this is what they look like around this time for us we do get that little bit of pink once in a while they stay really pink um, but this year they, you know, this is usually the usual for us. There's one there that's in pink. I was telling Ambrose how I wish that they would breed them to bloom a little later, the panicle hydrangeas, so people with warmer climates can get that, um, that color, that pink color through the whole, the end of the seasons. Okay, and then I, I went ahead and left Jasberry Supertunia right there. That one's still looking good. Um, I'm leaving it there. I, Ambrose did pull out some, some of them already from here. So I went and fill in with, the, with kale that have almost the same color because I'm leaving the super tunias that are still going in the containers from the front, from down the stairs. So it'll still go. It still has that color like the jazzberry. And then look at this guy. This, I didn't put this one in here. We've been growing um, the, uh, the salvia, which is the- which Rock and playing the blues. This one is just beautiful. It's been doing amazing and it's actually branching out and, and putting a lot more growth. So what I'm doing is I love the way, it, how it looks all messy and tangly and I'm leaving it like that so it can mingle with all the other, with all the other colors that we put in here. And then here is the Rebecca. We went ahead and got three Rebecca's. One is not looking that great. So I'll be showing you um, towards the end of the bed. And then we did bring some marigolds. Um, I try to find little spaces for them. I have here a celosia. This is, I'm not sure if you just call it the, a brain. It's a brain celosia. A brain celosia. The girls love this one. One of my daughters picked that one up. And then the one and only that I've been loving so much through the whole season is the El Brito Colia, still going. I really thought this guy was gonna be gone because it got so cold at night, but here we, we still have them going on. Um, some of it is looking rough, but it's still holding up. I did cut back some of the flowers. I, I did let them set flower towards the end of the season. 
it's starting to put more flower. It was feeding the hummingbirds like crazy. So that's the only reason, you know, I, I, I do love the way it looks. It had little purple flowers and the hummingbirds love it. So, and um, I didn't mention the reason I wanted to go ahead and get Rebecca is because we had some major um, gaps showing. So I wanted to go ahead and fill those little gaps around in the, in the front bed. Hopefully they still spread, put on uh, more, you know, bush up a little bit more for us. Um, and then still have some, oh, look who we're missing, the Japanese anemone. So this right here is, is it falling, falling in love? Fall in love sweetly. Isn't that beautiful? So this Japanese anemone blooms um, in fall. And the tag says, it's a proven winter's anemone. So the, the tag says it, it blooms early fall. I wasn't going to get it because, you know, if it only uh, pushes out blooms for just early, early fall, I was thinking, well, you know, it's not going to do a lot for us. But then I said, I told myself, being a perennial, I can go ahead and dig it out and take it with us when it's time to move and enjoy it somewhere else anyways. But I just wanted to have some pink in the bed. I love warm, warm colors, but I love for there to be a, 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 a cool color in there all of a sudden, and pink has always been a favorite of mine to go ahead and put in with a warm, with warm colors. Um, and then, oh, look at this right here. There's a, 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 a pinnacle hydrangea, the limelight sticking down there. We left it alone. And then there's more celosia right there. Those get bigger, so hopefully it fills out this area. They grow fast too, so let's, fingers crossed, we're getting, we're getting a few, I think two, two weeks of warmer weather. Yep. I think we're getting, so I'm hopeful. Um, and then we keep on repeating the same thing. We went ahead and put more of these um, marigolds. I'm over here pinching them. I'll have to bring up the, the pruners. Remember to always pinch flowers. I don't think you need to do it much with these, but I like to do it just so they look nice. Another Japanese anemone right there, and the, this guy is good to fill in those gaps. So I had to squeeze another one right there. Oh, we did put some um, mums. There's one there, and there's one on the other side. I went ahead and grabbed a small mum because I, did, I couldn't fit the big ones in here, but I did want to have a little bit of mum. So we went with the, with the what, what color is that? Like an orange rusty? It's a bronze. Like a bronze color, so it's really pretty. So then there's that Rebecca that just doesn't look good. So I had to go back to the nursery because I forgot the third Rebecca. And I never paid attention that I got a different type of Rebecca till we got home and we were planting. I told Ambrose, my goodness, the, the, the foliage on this one is so, so pretty it has bigger leaves and that's how I was able to tell they're different. Um, they should bloom more. Usually they do for us in November. I mean, in, 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 um, in fall time, um, I have to just cut it back. But if you guys already have them planted, you can leave it for, you can actually leave the seed pots so it can spread more for the coming year or you, or to feed the birds. I wanted to do a little bit more blooming I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it does it. Usually it does. We've had Rebecca's before in containers, and they've done amazing all the way through November. This year, though, I got to say, it's been really weird, um, the weather. And I don't think just for us, it's been everywhere. We started off with a very cold spring. Yep. Winter seemed to, it didn't want to leave. Um, and then what we, we just been had very cool weather. Summer had very strange weather here. It was very cool. And it seems that every year that we've been here has just been getting cooler and cooler and cooler. Yeah. Um, and now it just seems that winter wants to make its way really quickly. So we're going ahead and just planting anyways because it's our first time doing a fall, a fall um, planting in this bed. That's why we went ahead and still did it. Um, and then we have here what Ambrose loves so much, snapdragons. Yep. I think I, ha I was, I was going to tell Ambrose, I was going to tell you, I think I have, we have one more left. I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Okay. I think that one, I'm just going to, that way we can just use everything we have. We yeah. have a few plants left over. I think I can, I can fill in um, little spots. So, and of course, you know, I went ahead and anchored with um, another, what is it called? Kale. Kale. So that's what I use. I use the kales to go ahead and anchor some of the, some of the areas. So. The whole point of this is um, 
Sometimes, you know, it's okay to use what you already have and go ahead and squeeze in a little bit of fall color if, if you want to, you know. I, I usually don't decorate with much of fall de decor. I love to use plants. I love to have the garden say it's fall. Um, I don't know why, that's, that's just something for me so beautiful to see and my fa this is my favorite season. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that if you have plants that are still looking good and you you but you don't have the color of fall, you can go ahead and squeeze it in still. Um, you don't even have to plant plant the, uh, the the actual plants in the ground either. If you have a bed like this, you could just go ahead and um, right now in garden centers they actually have like what is it like rebecca's or grasses yep. um it with moms already together they have them in containers and they start to get cheaper as as you know as, as it's getting um fall is getting farther farther along so you can just go ahead and stick those planters in there usually i make we dig little holes right we make a little a little hole and just stick it in there yep. make sure it's draining still but that's what we do sometimes we did go ahead and plant all these just because we wanted to have a little bit of fun but there's still ways, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this because I feel like I'm late right now doing the fall planting. I think it's just because of the weather getting so much cooler this year, so sooner. But um, we still wanted to have our little fun. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. Putting was this awesome. together? Yep. Yeah. We have the urns to do up, up top and just um, the kids did want to do a little bit of Halloween decor. We'll go ahead and do that today. That's what we're going to do. Probably pick out a few mums. We'll see what we do just to decorate the top. Okay, guys, so that's that's all I wanted to go ahead and show you. Um, we're just super excited because it's our last, like I said, our last fall planting in this front bed. We will go ahead and I think we have another video to show them pretty soon, right? Yep. It's about a rose, so I'm excited about that one. Yep. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave it here and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.